Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Yep, I sort of forgot what I was playing. Yeah, apparently, uh, I had this manufacturing facility on my radar, and we haven't actually gone there. So I was like, yeah, you know what, that could be the first thing we do. Uh, the second thing we're going to do, though, is we do have the Community Tier 2 research complete, so we're actually going to be getting that as well. I'm gonna say hello to Spark. There he is. Ah, yes, Spark. Now he needs, of course, uh, to be patted because he has not seen love for a while. It's been a couple of days. Let's actually check out this manufacturing facility. Wherever its entrance may be. Where is it? Its entrance, actually. No, nope, no doggo. No. Nope. Where is the end? Did I miss it? I probably missed it, didn't I? Yeah, I absolutely missed it. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's extract the nanites. We have no extra words here. Let's see what this terminal has to say. Rah, Gek War, Viking High Command, Weapon High Command Equipment. Okay. A huge list of equipment is waiting to be sent off world. It is a stock list of some sort. Everything has been confirmed and ticked off. Hmm. I just send I think I just send it, don't I? Yeah. I receive units and thanks. And that's it. Uh, apparently, yeah, we're not gonna get any equipment out of this. So let's actually do a quick scan. We're gonna see if we find a facility, then we're gonna go up and to the Nexus, and we're gonna go down to the facility. Because we're gonna go up anyway. So we can actually purchase the uh, tier two equipment for Spark. That is that is a decent while away as well, so. We definitely had to go up. Alright. Up, up, and away! To the Nexus, we. No, no, stop, halt. There it is. Alright, let's actually see what it was because I kind of am forgetting what it was. There's just. Uh, I should have actually sold that. Uh, this should be somewhere else as well. The, the, the inventory is currently a mess. A big mess. A huge mess. It'll be fixed one day, I just don't know when. I currently don't have the time. I, I'm not entirely sure how I'm... Uh, I did allude to this on the uh, live stream last night. Uh, some, some, something's gonna change on the channel, I'm not entirely sure yet though. We're, we're gonna see how things are gonna go for this weekend. Then we're gonna decide. Uh, movement tracker. An exclusive companion, okay, this compact device generates detailed analytic reports of creature traversal habits to provide explorers with insight into the secret lies of their animal companions. Okay. Okay. Does this thing th say the same thing? No, I don't think it does. I can't even get the info on it, alright. Apparently once you buy it, you can't get the info on it. Let's actually put that on Spark. Uh, we are going to customize his appearance. And apparently it's just these two, but that's fine. And we're going to put one like this and one like that, I think that should be fine. Not entirely sure what that does though. New toy, new toy, yep indeed. It, it's, it, I'm pretty sure they do something. Current mood predatory? Really? Uh, unusual, juvenile, radical, okay, okay, okay. species, J. Oh, it actually does have the species, that's kind of nice. Uh, cannot ride here, yep, of course. Uh, here's a pet. Uh, we are not in a native climate. Are you sure we're not in the native climate? It kind of seems familiar. I'm not entirely sure. It's just spinning around for some reason. Well, we're gonna find out what that what that does. We already know the lasers do actually, even though they're binding lasers, most uses them for attacking, but I mean, there's nothing much I can do there. So we're gonna see what the movement tracker actually does. Hopefully today. Yeah, for those of you wondering, I do have a live stream. Saturday, 7.30, 7 or 7.30 p.m. GMT plus one. Everybody's welcome. All 
right, let's actually get Spark out. Again, on auto. It's me, hello. Yep, indeed it is. Again, feeling predatory. Why? You are not a predator. You were, you were never supposed to be. I, I mean, it always... Spark always showed up on the HUD. And you can always see the collar, which indicates that it's your pet. Both on the HUD and like that. Scouting head. So I'm not entirely sure what the movement tracker does. Like it doesn't offer any other options. Doesn't really do much. Like I can't scan him or do anything extra. So again, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we need both of them. You know what? We can actually do that. Maybe we need both of them. Uh, let's equip both of them. Maybe they have to be, there has to be two of them for them to work. Suit thing. Peep suit thing. Okay. No, no idea. But we're going to leave both of them on for now and we're going to see exactly what happens. Now, where's the entrance to this thing? I have not been paying attention. Ah, there it is. Like, is it leaving a trail on the ground or something? Can't actually tell if it is. Alright. Uh, automated security procedures are incinerating the contents of all the vaults in the facility. The terminal displays the manifest. Intruder trading power. Alright. Power surges are igniting the vaults one by one. However, the terminal appears to allow for limited emergency retrieval. So we want technology, so that's what we're going to do. And apparently, no. That's not what we're going to do. Alright, let's do one more. We're just going to do this today. To be honest, kind of a little bit relaxing. Today's episode is probably going to be on the shorter end of things as well. Uh, again, as I said, um, the upcoming week or two, maybe even three weeks, depends really. I'm going to be making some changes. Some things might vanish off the channel. Not entirely sure what yet. Uh, I did allude to this on the live stream a little bit because I will be very short on time starting very soon. When I say very short, I mean very short. Like I might have like two hours of recording and that is m most of the time just Imperium. Yeah, that's that, that's Imperium. That, that's it. Takes long to record sometimes. Sometimes. Not always, sometimes. But oh, it, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out exactly what's going to happen in the future. Alrighty, and we have landed. Right, let's see. Where is the entrance? Oh, there it is. I'm staring right at it. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is again just summon spark. And I just what if I tell you to go like way over there? Just go. Just go. No, he just goes there, okay. And comes back, alright. I mean, I can see they're doing something, but not entirely sure what. Maybe I should take it next to other animals. We might do that in a little bit, see exactly what they do. It's kind of unclear, like it's supposed to track movement, but what's the point of tracking the movement of, a, of my animal? When my, I can already do that without the, without the devices. This is a military terminal, okay, in a facility that seems recently vacated. Three huge data banks have been partially deleted and it will and will require heightened processing power to restore them. A rare metal would likely do the trick. Viking ended, Viking security, pathetic geck, weak minded, alright. Data bank alpha bears the emblem of the warrior race, but beta and gamma are otherwise unmarked. Okay, this is the new one, I've never seen this one. Uh, scrolling text, that's fun. Uh, which one do I want? The warrior race? Or beta and gamma, probably Viking and Corvax. You know what, we're gonna go with this one. The revived data bank provides more information on the language of the warrior species. Okay, so this is a language one. Let's see, one, two, three. 
Three words. That's it. All right. Could have been five. I think it would have been better if it was five. Uh, before we actually leave, we're going to scan for another manufacturing facility and then we're going to go to the animals. Because it's better if I scan... Oh, for the level... What's happening? Enter the building. Uh, it's better if we scan in here. It's not going to actually bring us back to the same facility that way. Well, to this one to be more precise. Ooh, operation center, nice. Okay. I think the planet has only one operation center and we were already there. But you know what? We're gonna take a rest. Now, are there animals that are not birds here? It might actually have to be daytime. Where is Spark actually? Okay, you know what? We're gonna go to the other one and we're gonna see if it's daytime on that side of the planet. That way we can have more animals. See. Oh, well, apparently didn't need to pulse jump there. It just kind of lagged and then refused to pulse jump even though it was holding the space bar. Oh well. Yep, it is daytime here so I will be able to actually see if uh, those movement trackers do do something to the animals. Maybe they actually track animals or maybe even scan them for me. Which, if you need money, is not a good idea because if your multi-tool is fully upgraded with scanner modules, you'll get a lot of money per scan. Alright, let's actually get Spark out here. Uh, the entrance, the entrance, the entrance. Right. It's gonna be on the other side. And there will be animals here, we're just gonna have to move away from the facility a little bit. There's not much of a point in taking this, but you never know. Maybe the nanites are useful. The security alarm hasn't impacted production. Below my feet, unseen equipment prepares for the mineral harvest. Systems, that's all we know. I can speed up the process by eliminating unnecessary systems. The on-screen automated report will help. Uh, this sounds sketchy. That's what I'm going off of. That was not the one. Facility production speeds are unchanged. The trade vault remains empty. Alright, alright, have it your way. Alright, since we're gonna do one more after this, I'm gonna scan one more. And then we're gonna go for the animals. We'll probably do one more, not... Depending on how the rest of this goes. Alright, so we were there. How far away? Three hours, it's not the same one we previously were on. Uh, right, so we need animals to spawn, so we're gonna go in that direction. Just leave the area of the manufacturing facility because animals will not spawn next to it. We have to be a certain distance away. Okay, where's the ground ones though? But, but where's the ground animals? Alright, let's actually summon spark, let's not forget about that. Okay, they're starting to spawn. Let's actually see. Or are those... Oh, those are just birds. Alright, you know, I'm gonna scan actually the birds. So they show... Scan scan the birds. Let's go... Please, please scan. Okay, there it is. Finally. Scanning the birds here will show them up as green dots. Well, I guess not dots anymore. Uh, so that's actually going to allow me to know that it is a bird if I see green. So now we're just looking for red. We might be too close to the manufacturing facility. Where's my terrain manipulator? Okay, that's better. We got some salvage data out of that. I guess we're just gonna head towards there. No, I do actually ha know that you have to stay like a couple of seconds in the air in order for things to spawn, but they're not spawning at all. Does this planet actually have any flying underwater? Common oh, okay, so most of the animals are underwater here, and that's why. 
So they're either flying or underwater. That's why we can't actually get any to spawn. All right. At least, you know, that explains it. Uh, where was I going? All right, summoning the ship. That's why the thing's spawning. I was wondering what was going on. It's kind of weird. Let's actually do, do this and let's go. I guess we'll go to the last manufacturing facility and... Uh, hello. That's a vault. I could not see that from the manufacturing facility, but all of a sudden it just appears in front of my eyes. Must have been cloaked. And... let's go down. It's probably gonna be the last thing we do, actually. I kinda did want to go for the animals, but again, as I said, kinda short pressed on time. D truly sorry about that, but... Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll figure things out eventually. Eventually. Hello, land, land. Come on. Because the camera actually does need to be pointing at that thing. If I recall correctly, so. Alright, there he goes. I guess I could bind him to a key and he's gonna be easier to summon, but... I mean, come on. Do we have to? It's a pet. Just, just make us always have him out. As I turn on the terminal, a forward-facing security scanner clicks in words into focus. The bright red image is on screen. Security, Viking High Command, and that's all we know. The terminal allows me no further access in the camera feed. Blue lines cross the red of my body, matching exactly to my exosuit's coolant mesh. Uh, broadcast safety codes. I believe... This is the one we have to do. I transmit the safety override code, putting an end to the emergency transmission. The Viking warship stands down, broadcasting a respective rah! The terminal unlocks. Uh, normal operations, and of course we're going to extract uh, recipes. So this one cannot be bought. We have wasted too much time on it, so we're just going to get these two. Uh, I can't believe we only got two recipes today. And we have like six more to get. I believe it was six. So yeah. Radiant. Uh, you're happy about something, aren't you? Here's a treat. Here's a pet. And give me a ride back to the ship. Uh, okay, that that's better. Okay, I can't actually use my... Oh my god, this thing's actually fast. Doesn't turn very well. And at least I have full control of the speed. Uh, and I can make it stop. Okay, so it's like uh, playing... Oh my god, I can't actually think of a game where you just designate the speed, you know, with W and S, and just automatically moves forward at that speed. And the more you press W, the more speed you're gonna get. And if you press... it does not go in reverse. What if I press just shift while we're... No, I don't even need to press shift, okay. I just need to, like, hold W for a second and that's it. Just so it goes into max speed, goes into overdrive. And now it just slows down. Maybe it has stamina? Oh, right, it has stamina! Oh, right, okay. That explains it. Is it double tapping W? No, I guess I must have pressed shift by accident. Oh, that's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Still don't know what these do, but... And we'll find out eventually. For now, though, I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.